What's going on, man? Not bad. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. What happened? I was just coming down the street, and this Mustang cut me up, and he slammed the brakes. So I slammed on my brakes, and I guess I hit the side of this gentleman's semi, and he wrecked the side of my car, and the car just, he just dipped. He just left. Did you make contact with the other vehicle? Uh, I don't think I did. No. You're not sure? I'm not sure. Just the semi. I just remember spinning out, and that was it. Okay. And a couple of gentlemen around here were helping me out with the car over here, and that was it. Okay. Where are you coming from? Gibson, I'm not exactly sure where. Okay. What were you doing there? Uh, I was hanging out with my friend, playing some video games, having a good time. So I was, I was leaving and all that, and then I see, you know, this Mustang comes out, he gets in front of me, and, he's, and he hits the brake really hard. So I do the same thing. I start spinning out, and I guess I hit this gentleman inside side of his car. How much alcohol have you been drinking tonight? No. Not much? Mm -hmm. Tell me a number of drinks you've had. Uh, two beers. Two beers? Yeah. Within what time frame? Time is uh, 10 30, like around 9. Yeah, okay. Do you have your driver's license on you? I do. Are you dad? Yeah, I'm dad. okay. Do you have insurance on the car? Uh, yeah, this is Dana insurance. Okay, do you have in your personal insurance sold? Uh, no. So, is this the dealer's so car? So, this is a dealer car? Yeah, why are you driving it yeah, now? This is my car. Well, he's used this to, go to help me to get parts. So Okay, but if you're going to use it for that, you got to title it and register it. You can't use a, t a dealer car unless it's on a, a yeah, demo. Yeah, I know. That's an illegal use of a demo. You can use your license for that. Yeah. Okay. I want to do some field sobriety tests with you. Do you want to do them with me? Sure. Okay. Go ahead and face that right real quick. I'm just to make sure you don't have any weapons on you, okay? Take your hands out of your pockets, man. Put on your back. No arrest at this point. I just need to pat you down for weapons, okay? Spread your feet for me. No needles, guns, anything that's going to stick me, poke me? Uh, I have a knife. A knife, okay. Yeah. You're going to just throw this in your car, okay? That's what do you care that for? Uh, just personal protection in case anything goes wrong. You never know. You never know, yeah. Okay. Keys. I have a wallet in my left pocket in the bottom. Okay. This one right here? Yes. Okay, I'm going to take it out and put it on the hood of the car, okay? Okay. Let's go over this way. Just stand right here, okay? Do you have any medical conditions that keep you from walking, standing, bouncing, or anything like that? Any kind of problems with your eyes? You wear contest glasses? Nothing like that? Okay. So what I need you to do is I need you to focus on the tip of this pin. Do you see how that lights up? Okay. Before we do that, though, I want to introduce I want you to put your feet together. Toes touching, heels touching, hands down to your side, okay? I want you to remain in that position until I give you further instructions, okay? During this test, the only thing you're going to move is your eyes, okay? I want you to follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and eyes only, and do not move your head, okay? Do you understand all those instructions? Yes. Okay. Okay. Don't move your head, remember? Okay. Keep your head still. You're moving your head around. you got to keep your head still, okay? Take a deep breath, and then we'll try it again, okay? Don't anticipate. Just follow it where it goes, okay? You're anticipating. Where's my finger? You gotta stay with my finger, okay? Wherever my finger goes, your eyes need to be, okay? And I'll try that again, okay? Don't anticipate. Anticipating. Don't anticipate where I'm gonna go. Just follow my finger as best as you can, okay? If I'm my fingers here, you gotta look here. You don't look over here, okay? This will be the last chance I'll give you an opportunity before you can put in handcuffs, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So we gotta do this, okay? If you choose not to do this, that's fine too. But we gotta finish this test. Where's my finger at? You gotta follow my finger, okay? She has some blue in her hair. Wearing a blue and green pullover and blue jeans shorts. It's located reference 1260. Henry 239. My eyes are getting watery. I've been playing video games all night. Just go ahead and blink and you'll be okay. One more thing and we'll be done. PDL unit 39 driver, Sam Mateo Montgomery, westbound. It's going to be a white Honda male driver with a beard and a hat. Driving 39 and almost 44 into a 34 and another vehicle. So he, they attempted a 54 and fled. Westbound Montgomery, reference 1404. One more time, and then we'll be done, okay? We're good. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. All right. Do you see this line in front of you here? Take about four steps backwards. Yeah. Just step backwards. Just, just step by step. Just, just right? step backwards real quick. That's not part of the test. I just need you right there. Okay. Stop right there. See that line in front of you? Okay. So that's a straight white line, okay? What I want you to do is I want you to put your left foot on that line. Just step back. Move your right foot out of the way. Put your left foot on the line from there. There you go. And take your right foot, put it directly in front of your left foot with your heel and your toe touching just like I'm doing. Okay? Hands down to your side. Remain in that position until I give you further instructions, okay? Hands flat down to your side, okay? When I tell you to start, you're going to take nine heel toe steps on that line. You're going to make a turn, return back on the line, take nine more heel toe steps back. Back and forth. Yeah, so nine, nine heel toe steps that way, you'll make a turn completely around, take nine more steps back, okay? While you're doing this, I want you looking down at your feet while you're walking. I want you counting your steps out loud where I can hear you. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I want you counting your steps out loud where I can hear you. You're going to keep your hands down to your side the entire time for the test, and you're not going to stop the test until you complete the test. 
Okay, you do you want understand those instructions? Watch what I'm going to do because I'm going to demonstrate for you, okay? Yes, when I tell you start, I'm in the same position you are, correct? Yes. Okay, so when I tell you start, left foot's going to be step one. It's going to look like this. One, two, three, all up to nine, okay? I took three steps for the demonstration, but you're going to take nine. When you get to the last step, you're going to rotate on your lead foot, make it a series of small steps with your outside foot, just like this, and start again. One, two, three, all up to nine, okay? Do you have any questions about anything I've told you? You say no? Yes, okay. Go and get back in that position. Hands down to your side and go ahead and start the test whenever you're ready. ready? Okay, go ahead and start. So 12. 12. Go ahead and do what you need to do from there. Feet back together. Just like this. Toes touching, heels touching, hands down to your side. Okay, for whatever reason you have in your mouth, go ahead and spit out. Just throw it on the ground for now. We'll pick it up in a minute. Hands down to your side, feet together, just like what mine are, okay? Again, remain in this position until I give you further instructions, okay? During this test, what I want you to do is I want you to pick the leg you're choosing, okay? I'm going to demonstrate my right leg, but you can pick whichever one you're comfortable with, okay? When I tell you to start, what you do is you're going to raise that foot off the ground, like this. Foot parallel to the ground, six inch distance between the bottom of your foot and the ground, keeping both your legs straight, hands down to your side, okay? While you're doing this, you're going to look down at that elevated foot, you're counting in thousands, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, Keep counting until I tell you stop. Okay? Do you have any instructions or any questions about the instructions I've given you? This is a time test, so I'll tell you when to start, when to stop. Okay? Are you ready? Go ahead and start. Look down at your foot. There you go. Keep going. Okay, go on, stop. Other than that gum, do you have anything else in your mouth? Open your mouth, stick out your tongue. Nothing in there I can't see. Okay, go on, turn around, face the wall for me. Hands behind your back, palms together, palms together. Now you are being arrested for driving under the influence of toxicity and liquor and or drugs, okay? Uh, I'm going to give you an opportunity to do another test when we get down to the down downtown jail. I'll explain the consequences if you decide to do that or not decide to do that, okay? Spread your feet again. And this is your father, correct? Yes. Do you want me to discuss everything that's happening with him or no? It's up to you. Okay. I'm going to leave your money in your wallet in your back pocket. Just remind me it's there. All right. Let's go have a seat back here, and then I'll talk to your dad. Go ahead to the right side of the bar. The right side. Okay, have a seat. Watch your head. And I'll be right back with you, okay? So this is a company vehicle? No, or no it's going to be uh, my car. Yeah. So it is going to be your car, or you haven't decided yet? I know it's my car. So you're going to still take it on its rack or no? Yeah, I can take it from here. Yeah. Okay. So this is the thing. He, he can't be driving that car unless it's, he's dr yeah, doing a I, demonstration dr yeah, like a driving with somebody. Yeah, I it is uh, early, but uh, I don't... If I you're going to use it as a parts car, you got to get it registered in, and yeah, insured and everything uh, through the proper channels. Yeah, I, I, I was about to, to do that. But okay. Well, I'm about to do it and having it done are two different things, okay? Because yeah. it's not done now and now all this is happening. Yeah. Okay, because now there's damage to the semi-truck that needs to be taken care of. So I don't know how your insurance will cover all that because your insurance says that it'll cover yeah, it under well, demo drives, it but not. It doesn't do nothing to the trailer. It's not but they still got to file a claim because it's a commercial vehicle. Okay. So there's still going to be an insurance claim from that company that's going to do that because it's a commercial vehicle. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be something that's going to be civil. I'm not going to be involved in that. Um, however, your son is driving impaired. He shouldn't be driving when he's drinking. Okay. okay. There's obvious signs. I mean, he has all kinds of things going on that I'm seeing that he shouldn't be driving motor vehicles. He, he can't drive it safely if he's impaired. Okay. okay, so were you aware that he was out drinking? No, I, I, I don't know. I, he's, uh, I'm not know. saying he's a bad kid. No, I'm no, not I saying mean, that uh, everybody makes mistakes. But Yeah, I know because uh, he's he, he been driving for a while. He has no no accident. It's, it, you check your record. It's a clean record and everything. That's okay. why I trust him. But, and you know, I, I understand. Like, I, like I says, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, sometimes it happens, but, you know, I mean... Like I see, I see the trailer, nothing happened to the trailer. It's yeah, that will be something, you, that will be a civil uh, thing that will handle it's them. It's nothing to them, uh, the car is the, the, get the best part. Okay. And I don't know what about the other car that it says is going in, inside. I don't know, I, have any, I don't have any proof that that vehicle was there. I don't have any information on that car, so I can't include that information on the car. It will be included in the report status, but other than that, that's all I can really do. Because I wasn't here to observe what happened. I will put his statement in my report. 
um, and so will the other officer for the crash report. But other than that, we don't have no information on what that car was. Okay? Mm -hmm. So um, let me talk to him real quick, and then I'll come back to you. you have any other questions for me? No, he says I can take the car from here, and like I said, is there any damage on the truck? I mean, okay. But uh, I don't know, I still the guy, he, he wants to press charges, it's okay, but nothing's happening. Well, well, there me. will be no charges okay. against him for that. That He can't press charges for a crash. Oh, okay. But it will be a civil thing that his, his, his company that he works for may have to file an insurance claim, just depending on all their rules that they do. That's going to be something civil. Oh, okay. okay. So give me a few minutes, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Can you just stand over there for a second, please? All right, man, so this is the deal, okay? Everything that we're seeing on the roadway tells us that there was another vehicle involved, okay? I believe that, that there is another vehicle involved. You said there was a Mustang. This is what I'm going to tell you I believe happened, okay? You can tell me if I'm right or wrong. I think that you guys are racing. You, the other car forced you off the roadway because the because turn was coming up, and maybe he didn't realize it, and you went up on the sidewalk, came down off the sidewalk, slid across the roadway, and went across the median. Is that what happened? It looks like the other car hit the semi-truck, not you. Is that what happened? Is that what happened, or is that what... I can't go with what that's about right. Is that what you guys are doing? I, I remember speeding up. Okay. And then he cut up in front of me, and then he hit the brakes as we were on this turning lane here. Okay. So were you guys racing? Is that why he cut in front of you? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. I, I guess it turned into a race. I did speed up, and okay. then he did too. So you guys are going back and forth, back and forth, and then the crash happened. So what did you end up hitting? Did you hit the him? You hit something else, not just the median. You had damage to the, the right side of your, or left side of your car, and it's not from the semi. I think I hit either the side of the curb or the median, but I don't. I, don't I know you went over the median because all your front parts are up on the median. I know that's where you went, but you hit something else too. Do you remember what else you hit? Uh, I don't. Just the median or the side of the curb, whatever. And I started spinning, but that's it. I don't remember. You remember hitting anything else? Okay. I remember getting. I know. I know you didn't hit the semi. I, you didn't hit the semi. It was another car that hit the semi. Okay, yeah. just because you went across the road. There's no way you could hit the semi and then went across the road where the skid marks are at. Yeah. Okay? All right. Well, we'll be on our way in a second, okay? I'm going to talk to your dad some more, okay? He said he was racing out of the car. He was what? The racing of the car. The other car got in front of him, cut him off, slammed on his brakes, he lost control, went up on the sidewalk, slid across. The other car hit the semi and uh, left. But I don't know what he hit on the left side, and neither does he. Did he describe the other car? He said it was a Mustang. That's all he knows. He said that they were going, he was coming up, he went up, they were speeding up together, and then the curve came up, and then everything happened. Did he say if he was on the left or the right? Of the he doesn't remember. Okay. So but, but from the road the... evidence, he went skidding south across the road. The other car had to have hit the semi and then left. Thank you. Okay, so he didn't hit the semi. No. He jumped the curve, and kind of, he jumped the median, kind of. Yeah, his right. front grill pieces are up there. So I know he went over that top, and his wheels are the same evidence of that. I'll put that on put unknown. Yeah, it's going to be an unknown car for the semi. Unknown, unknown Mustang. So he was racing. He shouldn't have been doing that. He's impaired. He shouldn't be doing that. So there's a few things going on here. Okay. So what's going to happen, I'm going to take him downtown. I'm going to have him offer him a breath test. If he decides to do that, if he doesn't decide to do that, it's totally up to him. Uh, I'll let him know what the consequences are either, of either decision are. And then he's going to be booked in MDC as long as he's above the 08 limit, which I believe that he is. And he'll be able to call you from there and let you know what's going to happen. Most likely he's not going to be held because it doesn't look like he has a criminal history. Most likely he's going to be released and he'll be able to call you. It's going to be midnight here soon, so probably later this morning. He'll call you and let you know what he needs to have in order to pick him up. Okay? Yeah, Hello. like it says, he's yeah. got a bad record or not. He needs to assist. I'm like, sorry because my car is not parked where I left it. Okay. Um, are you going to pick up the car? Yeah, I'm going to pick up Okay. Just be careful with it because I don't know what's broken on it. Just be careful with the airbags because it took a front end collision at some point. Okay. The airbags may may pop out, so just be careful with that. Okay. Okay. All right. I did get another one, but they were revving their engine. Like they wanted so to which race. way were you, were, were, were you driving? Eastbound. You're going where? Eastbound. You're going towards the mountain east on Gibson here? Yes. Okay, and then and what happened? I, um, I started going faster. I lost control, and I flipped completely around to go west to the west side. And um, after that, this couple approached me and said, hey, we saw what happened. Are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm totally okay. I don't know if they're okay. I didn't see what happened to them. Um, they said, hey, do you want to come hang out with us? And I said, yeah, I'm not scared. I'll just hang out with you guys. And I've just been hanging out with them, and I saw you guys show up. I saw this car. I don't know if it was mine that was involved in this. So you were, because he was going 
westbound. Oh, I see. So, which way were you going? I was going east. So, this person that I thought wanted to race <laughs> uh -huh. was in, I couldn't tell you what kind of car, but they were going east. And so, they started going faster, I speeded up, I lost control, I flipped around this way, and they started going this way. And where I remember that I left my car, it's not there. So, I don't know if that was an accident that they reported or what happened, but my car isn't there anymore. So you don't know where your car is? I don't know where my car is. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused. So which way were you traveling initially before so any crashes? Initially, I live on the on the west side, okay. on Centillary, Candelaria. I was going that way. And you're going they, west? Yes. So you're going From west? Gibson. I was going west on Gibson. West on Gibson? Yes, sir. Okay. And um, they were, like I said, revving their engine like they wanted to race. <laughs> So I said, cool race, and I flipped around, started coming this way. I lost control. So, at some, did you crash into the other vehicle? I did not hit the other vehicle. No, you didn't hit I the hit other vehicle. I hit the median. I did not you hit the hit other the vehicle. Median. I hit the median, and I flipped around. So when, while you guys were kind so, of racing. Yes, sir. So when okay. I lost control, I was going uh -huh. east. Sure. I was going very fast. I lost control, and I flipped around. I flipped over the median. And I oh goodness. Over the, yeah. Oh my I gosh. I flipped over this way. I got out of my car. I parked. A couple was standing there. I said, hey, we said, what happened? Uh -huh. You know, it wasn't terrible. The car just spit off. And, um, you know, I checked all my tires. They weren't popped. And um, they weren't anywhere seen. Do you still have so, the keys? Do you still, do you still have the I keys do. to the car? I do. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Are there any other key sets out there in the world? A spare at my house. Oh, That's it. All right. Mm -hmm. Were you alone in the car when this happened? I was. Okay. Do you have an ID on scared. you? Just so I could write you I down do. on, on the report? I do. On his way. I'm gonna take him down. Yeah. So um, yeah, I was. I will admit that I was very going very fast. Sure. And I was going way fast. We, we need to find your car though, right? Right. Okay. And um, I lost control and I flipped the opposite direction. Oh and goodness. And they continued to go up west. Okay. Okay. And how long ago do you think do you think this was? This was about 45 minutes to an hour ago. You guys okay. And then what what did you do after the crash? I'm sorry, just so, so like I'm clear. Like I said, this this couple approached me and they say, "Hey, a guy and a girl." And you never you never saw them before? I didn't get their name. She ran off as we were talking. Um, they said, "Hey, we didn't see the happen, but we heard it, and we heard that we were something happened for the uh -huh. street." And they invited me into their home. We hung out. We drank a beer, and then I called you guys. All right. How so, many beers did you drink over there? One. Okay. Right. So let me. So what? What kind of car is it? What? Did you write blue? One beer. I'm just writing down. One beer. I'm sorry. I'm just writing down so the things that that you're telling me. And what? Um. Mustang. Yellow Mustang. 2004. I can give you the VIN number. The VIN number? I know the VIN number and I know the plate. <laughs> a 17 digit VIN number. Let's go. With, okay. W. H. I'm sorry. W. Seven nine four. W, oh my god, 794 WFY. I'm going to type it in just to see if Wifey. it comes back. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me type it in just to see if it, to make sure that's the correct plate that we're looking for, okay? And do you know approximately yeah. what street you parked it on, or? The street. So you parked it like on Gibson, or? Gibson and Yelm. So Yale. Oh, okay. You parked it in and around Gibson so, Yale. Okay. This bar right here, 77 Brewery. The what? 377 Brewery. I'm not familiar with it. Is it around so here? So it's right here. You oh, see okay. This gate that's closed off. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the brewery. I was trying to meet some more friends. Sure. And I oh, left, before like but before I the crap. Yes, oh, sir. okay. So we're still in the parking lot. WFY794, if I'm not mistaken. That's me. Wow. Thank you. All right. Let me try the vehicle. Let me see if it's the. Let me see if it's the correct one. Is it registered to you or someone else? It's me and my father. So seven nine four W F Y. Okay. Should be me and James. James. Yeah. Uh huh. Over on uh. Mm -hmm. Tylee. Okay. That's us. Sir, can I go see if it's just double to check, make sure that it's not? Uh, just, just, just hang out for a second, cause I'm gonna go with another officer, and we're okay. we're gonna look, and okay. I'll get into the system is stolen if that's the, if that's the case, you know. So just hang on for, hang on for one, <coughs> excuse me, one second for me. Okay. So this girl right here is one of the girls. She's the couple. The girl of the couple. Do you, do you know who her? 
I don't. So okay. I saw her. She allegedly heard um, my tire screech. Oh, sure, out. yeah. So she heard it. So I don't know if she saw it or whatever. She uh, saw it. How come you're hanging um, out with her? What's going on? Um, they're on drugs. I know they're on drugs. Well, but I don't know exactly what. Um, she said that we heard them, but we didn't. And you, and you went into their house? I went into their, their house. It's an apartment um, right here on Yale. Is that a good idea? Probably not. No. So after the crash, how come you didn't call us? What's going on? I was a little bit scared. Why Why were you scared? Yeah, I know, but... It, so was, was your car, like, completely, like, totaled and stuff, or is it... Um, no, sir, that's... I guess that's why I didn't call you, was that okay. I got out, none of my tires were popped, there wasn't any body damage. What um, kind of damage does it have to it? I didn't see, I... Sir, that's my car right there. Hang on. Let me see. Can you move your phone just so I can hop out and look? Thanks. Let me see if you got... I'm so sorry. <laughs> but that yellow Mustang right there? Oh. That's mine. Okay, so to clarify. I'm so coming. let's see, so which okay. way were I'm where going are you headed? Toward the meeting on Houston. You're going towards where? It's the only way you know the difference. <laughs> I was going east. Okay. And again, um, a car revved their engine like they wanted to race. But we, didn't you say you were going west at first? No, sir. You're going east at first. I was going east. So were you on Broadway and then you turned on to Gibson or what, what happened? I was on Central and I was trying to turn on to Gibson. So sent, neither of these streets are Central right now. So this street going this. Gibson. And this is Broadway. Neither of these streets are Central. Going this way is which way? That's north and south, and that's Broadway. That's Broadway. Okay. Yeah. So, I guess I can't tell you what street I was on, but I was going east. So, okay. you're originally heading so east. I was going for the mountain. And were My you in the right lane or the left lane? Do you remember? The left lane. You're in the left lane. So, you're east. So I'm going this, east. So I'm coming this way, east straight. Uh-huh. And I'm in the left-hand lane because I live on Candelaria. Sure. So, you go this way. Okay. And so whenever I go to turn down this street, I'm going so fast that I lose control. And okay. I end up, so here's the median, here's me in my car. I freak so fast that I go over the median and face this. And did you hit the semi truck or did you go over, so you, went, you definitely went over the median. No, sir. So the only thing I went over was the median. The you only didn't thing hit. That I hit was the median. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going. I'm going east, and I try to turn here. Okay. But when I turn, I'm going so fast that I lose control. So where was the guy who was racing with you? What street were they on? On Gibson, going east. As you made the turn, kinda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. So. So exactly. Oh, so I what see. happened was I tried to turn left, and they continued to go straight. So they didn't realize that I was going left, they go straight, I lose control, and I end up this way toward the west. Oh, okay. So Are you fast, 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 uh -huh. stop, I have to stop, lose control, end up this way. Okay. By this time, I'm facing west, and this girl and her boyfriend say, Okay, I don't know. I feel so fucking stupid. They were trying to race. I don't race ever. And uh, they're like, "Well, come inside. The car is scary. Come inside." It's okay. okay. So I came inside. I hung out with them, and then um, yeah, I just got kind of nervous. We came outside. You guys were already here. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the semi truck being parked on Gibson or no? Do you remember kind of where where that was? Because because right by the semi, kind of like at the back of the semi truck, there's a lot of like debris and stuff. So, um, like the semi truck is pretty big and strong, so it's like there's not much damage to it. So the semi truck was parked right there. It was parked right there, like in this right lane, blocking this right lane almost at the entrance of this gas station. Um, so the semi truck was was parked there. Um, and then there was a there was someone because the like guy Gibson? who was right okay. here right here yeah uh -huh. because the guy who was driving that car 
who was involved in the crash, so that was the crash vehicle, said that he was traveling eastbound, so going, I mean westbound. So from the mountain this way, that he was going westbound, and that um, he started to race a Mustang. And um, the crash occurred, and there's like skid marks over there where one of the cars was like driving on the sidewalk, and the other car, you can tell that it, it hopped the median. Um, and one of the cars crashed like the front, and it was probably his car to be honest, crashed the front like into the back of the semi. Um, because there's, there's uh, uh, his damage, his car is front end damage, and there's like broken, uh, like the lights and the glass and stuff like that are broken kind of like there. So, so, so are you sure? I, no, I will say that the car that made impact with the other car was mine. Was that makes sense. Yeah. No, that's us. So, again, I was going east. Uh huh. I was going very fast. The light turned red. And that person stopped. I don't know what they were driving. Uh huh. That person driving me in the Mustang pushed my brakes on very fast. Threw uh -huh. my brakes on. Yeah. So much just so where I did lose control. I'll be right, right back with you, okay? So, there was a semi truck that was parked right here. Uh -huh. what, what it looks like is two vehicles. Her car is a Mustang. It's actually parked over there. And then this Volkswagen right here. When I got here, she wasn't around. So essentially, what me and well, what we think is that they were coming westbound. And you can see like it marks over there and stuff like that. And one of the cars hit the back of the semi. Okay. And the other car flipped. It's kind of like went over the median. This car has a lot of damage on it, the Volkswagen front end damage, so that car probably hit the back of the semi. Okay. That one probably just spun around the intersection. So um, uh, he's doing he's doing him for 47, okay. um, and the semi driver was inside at the time. He was okay. peeing. So um, as I'm standing here, she comes up and she says, hey, I think I was involved in a crash. I'm still alive. So I think I was involved in a crash. I was driving a Mustang, and immediately I could smell to smell. To yeah. And she's like, hey, I was involved in a crash, but after the crash, like, I went to these people's houses, and, like, I think I was drag, I think I was racing with this car. I don't remember where I parked my car. So I could smell it on her immediately, like, really strong. Yeah, while we were talking, she's like, oh, never mind, my car's over there. She did after, after, just recently, she said um, that after the crash, Any? two crazy people who live in the area saw it, and like, hey, are you okay? Took her into the apartment. She said that she had one beer in the apartment. She said that she just told me. She told me that initially. She told me that now. She said that she had one beer in the apartment, and then uh, she came out to find me. Or to, she saw officers. She thought that her car. She misplaced her car. So that's kind. Of, that's where we're at. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, I don't. I mean, that's. She didn't tell us that right away. I'm with you. Like I said, she didn't say that initially, but she she did say it now. So so if that's the case. I'll just. I don't know. No, I know. I know, <laughs> I know. All the right things. I know, I know. I mean, and, and clearly it's probably not just one beer. One beer isn't going to get her as drunk as she is right now. Yeah. yeah right. No, I agree. She just, she doesn't even know what direction she was traveling. So. I agree. But, but I know. I mean, I can talk to her, and if she says, "No, I didn't drink until whatever," then yeah. If you want to talk to her for a second, try that. If you so want to talk to her just for a second, just hello. How are you? Let's go to the front of the car and talk. Because these lights are bugging my eyes. So what happened today? So, I got off work. Uh, you got off of work? What time was that at? I was about 5 o'clock. Oh, where are you working at? Uh, I work for a dealer. Okay. I work for Quality and GMC Buick. Oh, cool. I, um, I title and register things. Very cool. The ones that we sell. So, um, it's my friend. And I knew it was my friend. We were going down the Nixon. Oh. And they rubbed their engine. That's the thing I wanted to race. Okay. I drive a Mustang. <laughs> So, 
have one there. Have one. My friend works there. He said, hey, come bug me at work. I'm guessing that's all you have. So I had that one. Parking this way. I was obviously going I way mean, too if fast. You one, then I you should be all right. We'll go right here. We'll use this line right here, okay? Yes, ma'am, you can. Do you want to put it on the hood here or on the officer's car where he can watch it? That's fine. I wouldn't put it down on the ground. Right now. Let's put it over on his hood. Okay. It's not likely that he's going to take it, but at least okay. can keep an eye on it. You watch your first corner. Right. So I'll have you stand right here with my flashlights shining. And I'll have you put your feet together and your hands in at your side, okay? And I'm going to have you follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? You don't move your head. Do you understand? Okay. I'm going to head me. Can you open your eyes a little bit more for me? There you go. Do you have contact? I don't. You do not? Mm -hmm. Probably should. Why? I can't see it. Uh, have you gone to the eye doctor? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm playing with the body by RGB. Is it just one of the first uh, one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you have any medical conditions that keep you from walking and or balancing? So what we're going to do, we're going to use this line right here, alright? So what I have you do is put your left foot on the line. It's already on the line, but put it in the middle of the line. Alright, and then go ahead and take your right foot, put it in front of your left heel to toe, mm -hmm. and then put your hands down at your side. Go ahead and do that for me now. Take the right foot, put it in front of the left, heel to toe, and then hands down at your side. And go ahead and stay in that position. Do not move from it until I tell you to begin. Do you understand? So when I tell you to begin, what you're going to do is you're going to take nine heel to toe steps. You're going to look down at your feet. You're going to count each step out loud so I can hear you. And keep your hands down at your side. Okay, and it's going to look like this. One, two, three. I took three, but you're going to take nine. When you get to that ninth step, you're going to leave your lead foot on the line. Bring your rear foot out to turn yourself back around on the line by taking a series of small steps. Okay? And then you'll reposition yourself again back on the line and take an additional nine heel to toe steps. Again... Looking down at your feet, counting each step out loud, keeping your hands down at your side. One, two, three. Again, I took three, but you're going to take nine. Once you start the test, do not stop until you've completed it. Did you understand? Did you have any questions before you begin? Go ahead and begin for me when you're ready. One, two, four, Stand. Well, actually, let's go to the sidewalk right here and do it. All right. So I'm going to have you do is you can stand right where you're at, but I'm going to put your feet together, your hands on your side, okay? So I'm going to tell you to begin what you're going to do. You're going to pick whichever foot you're most comfortable with. You can raise it approximately six inches off the ground if you want to look at how I'm doing it. So it's going to come up about the size of a Coke can. You're going to keep your legs straight, hands down at your side, and you're going to look down at your elevated foot and you're going to count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, all the way until you tell you to stop. Again, keep your hands down at your side, keep your legs straight, look down at your elevated foot, and count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, and continue to count up until I tell you to stop. Yes, sir. Okay, did you have any questions yes, before you begin? Go ahead and begin for me. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. No, don't use the trash can. 1,006, 1,007, Okay, you can stop. Do you have anything in your mouth? No. Can you open it? Come on, turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. Behind your back. So at this time, I am going to place you under arrest for driving while under the influence of an intoxicating liquor or drug. From here, I'm going to take you to where you're going to have an opportunity to take a breath test if you choose to do so. Alright? So do you have any questions for me? Where your car keys went? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. We're going to go over to that car that I showed up in, okay? I'll grab your purse and take it with us. Alright, so take a seat. I'm going to pull against you so you don't smack your head, okay? 
Yeah, I'm gonna get it once I get you in the car, okay? There you go. Did you by chance get the, uh... I added it to the car right here. So, you want me to leave? It looks like you're you're it's like you're being on foot going north down. Let's see. Do you run a history on her? Uh, yeah, she's having priors. Just one site to, like, pick her up. So this is probably all I need to open the car to get it. I'm not gonna leave it. It's over there. It's a crazy part. So do you want to take her... Can I ask her if these are the only ones that start to come? Yes. Oh, they're, they're going to stay with me. I just want to make sure. George Washington. What? Ha what? Yeah. When did that happen? Uh, How long ago? I don't really know. I don't know if you guys are trying to be hit his body in the alley, maybe. Well, yes, I was over here. I just know that I would I witness, and I don't know how long to tell you. To be honest, I can't tell you exactly the amount of date or time frame it was mm -hmm. from the instant that I did witness it. Mm -hmm. and then, um, what What did you witness? Jose Nakata carrying a white male blonde hair head out of the alleyway of somebody he beheaded. It was just the head. Can I write down the name of the guy? What was the guy's name? Jose Nakata. How do you spell the name? Uh, J O S E. Last name? J. R.A. And Cynthia Rodriguez is part of it. I came read the evidence. Who, who, who is Jose? Is he or did someone who's deceased? Uh, no. So he did something. Mm -hmm. What did you see him do? It was him carrying a head out of the alleyway, like, and a sword. Well, I'm going to say more than a knife. It was more like a sword type. A head out yeah. of it? <laughs> I only need a 46, one, one vehicle. And uh, um, when you make this arrest, you won't shoot an officer. So if anything, you guys have to be head to toe. And uh, body armor, I recommend you to prevent you guys from being so, shot. So, who do we think he was carrying out? Do we know who the victim was? I, I don't really have an exact answer to be on it. I'm praying that isn't the case. Justin Bieber's still alive. <laughs> that's why I'm praying He's still for, singing all kinds yeah, of songs. Yeah, that okay. <laughs> that's good. Because apparently this guy's, they're playing on... So how long ago did this happen? To be honest, I really can't tell you. I would say with... Like, it could two be months? Ten, no longer than that. Uh, within ten, ten months. months. So it's now more than months. If a detective so, wants to get a hold of you, would you be willing for them to give you a call or no? I don't have a phone. Okay, all right, I got it. Um, where, what alleyway did you see this happen in? Uh, right in the back alleyway from when we had the house I was staying at. I was going to go outside and smoke a cigarette instead. And what house were you staying at? I've known for three and a half years. Is he a friend of yours? Or? Yes. And um, I've been, I actually registered online uh, to become an officer and I've been able to take my, complete my online courses. Mm -hmm. So um, I've just been kind of self-training myself at the time being and working on this case, kind of on co undercover. What kind, of, dangerous, so. what kind of what kind of what kind of courses you have to take? What I do you mean? really don't know. I did uh, talk to the station board seventh and advisor seventh class. I didn't even have any. Um, wasn't even complete one course. I had completely quit my online courses before school started. Oh, okay. So I don't really exactly sure to, can tell you exactly what classes. What, what right school now. are you going to try to go to? I'm trying to get into anything on campus to become to complete my training. What I've been nice. doing on my own is just become an officer and remain a good cop and stay a good cop. And you know, nice. That's what my goal is. You know, good. So like good. I see like your team kind of needs maybe some help here and there. So sure, that makes sense. Well, I'll go ahead and pass this on to the, to the detectives in the area. Okay. Okay, please. And when you do thank make you so much. Rest, please, yeah, please we will be very careful. Head to, head to toe, Absolutely. Like I said, sure. gunshot. Okay. Yeah, because it's I a dangerous guy. Hurt, kill, yeah. or I really appreciate you telling me this, Cynthia. Thank you. Okay, please. What kind of Huh? I don't what kind of work? What do you do all day? Nice. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I don't know exactly how to get to where I could just go on campus and actually complete it, but my goal first is to get this guy as well as anybody else's car that. Sure. Go. Yeah, that that sense. Do you see any damage to this car? Yeah. I don't really see any. Well, she said the damage is what else about me. No, I was driving out right, that's why I said that. Ooh. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't really see any damage to the car, but. Huh. You know, I saw a car. I don't think exactly that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. There's damage. I think she might be even... I don't know if you guys know. I don't know if she's an undercover or a drink or she's a... Who? No, she's not. She was doing, I don't know. No, she's just a regular person. She might have even been a witness, and I know she said she was a witness. Uh, so well, she said that, that she said that she kind of flipped her vehicle around and stuff like that, but I'm not sure. But, all right. Want to step back here for me? Those last couple doors there, all the way down there.
Thank you. I'm going to read this poster that's right behind you. You can stand up and follow along as I read it out loud to you. But listen, I'm about to tell you something important. You were under arrest for driving under the influence of intoxicating liquor or drug. Okay. The New Mexico in flight consent requires you to submit your breath test to determine the alcohol content of your blood. After you take your test, you have the right to choose an additional independent test. If you choose to take this additional independent test, you have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse, a laboratory technician, or technologist who is employed by a hospital or a physician of your own choice to perform the additional chemical test. Cost of the additional test will be paid for by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? Yes. I'll let you know when the machine's ready for your breath test. Um, so as you saw, I put a brand new mouthpiece on there. You'll be the only one that ever uses it. But when it's ready, what you're going to do is you're going to put a tight seal on the mouthpiece, and you're going to blow into it like you're blowing up a balloon. Keep a consistent breath for about four to five seconds, and you're going to hear a tone during that time. Continue to blow through the tone. Uh, once the tone stops, uh, at that point it should be a sufficient sample. If for whatever reason it isn't, I'll let you know that it wasn't, and to take another deep breath and to again. Do you have any questions for me? No, sir. Okay. You can stand there, that's fine, or you can sit down, it's up to you. Um, but the machine has to run through some checks before it'll be ready. Just FYI. Like I said, I don't have an issue with you standing up. You're not causing you an issue of any sort, so you're more than welcome. All right, you can stand up if you want. It's going to be ready for you here, Matt. And there it is. There, there you go. So your first sample is a 0.15. One more sample after that, okay? Is that bad? Uh, well, it's definitely over the legal limit, which is a point. You said point of Point one five. So you're almost double. questions for me? Uh, obviously I'm staying here tonight, right? Well, you're going to have to go into the jail, which is further away, but yeah. So... Then you'll be booked in, and they'll run you through what's called a, probably a release on your own cognizance. Um, so basically they won't set a bond, they'll ROR you, just release you on your own cognizance. Um, potentially. I'm assuming you have a pretty clean record based on your age. So then they'll basically just wait for you to get to a certain sobriety level before they'll drop you off downtown. And from there, I still have to figure out where my car went. And, well, yeah. your car, we ended up towing your car um, for two reasons. First reason, because we were placed under arrest. Second reason, because of where it was at. We assumed if we left it there, it wouldn't be there tomorrow. So we figured it'd be safer to tow it. Good. Um, so it's going to have a quirky towing which is located off of, I believe, yeah, just as 305 Pontius. But I'm not 100%, but just look up A Albuquerque Tower. And then a you'll be able to find it. Yeah, you'll be able to find Do it. Do I get a copy of that? Uh, I will ask for the officer who did it, but yeah. Okay, and then can you just write that down? Well, I'll try to get you the tow in that has the information on it, so I don't have to write it down for you, okay? Okay. Um, I'll then I'm going to stand up, walk over here, and you can take a seat on this right angle bench over there in the corner if you'd like and give me just a little bit to complete paperwork.